Hi everyone, I'm Marie Benner Rhodes and I'm here with another Read Aloud. This Read Aloud is for Women's History Month. And I wanted to share a story about Cora Belpre, who was a librarian in New York City from Puerto Rico. And she helped make sure that there were stories in the library for people no matter what language they were speaking. It is called Planting Stories, The Life of Librarian and Storyteller, Cora Belpre. It's by An Annika Aldamwe Denise and illustrations are by Paula Escobar. I read this book a couple weeks ago to a first grade class and I told everyone to bring their favorite puppet because there are puppets in this story. So if you have a favorite puppet, you could push pause and you can go get it and you can listen to the story with your puppet. It is 1921. Cora Teresa Belpre leaves her home in San Juan for a visit to Nueva York, to New York. Words travel with her. Stories her abuela, her grandma, taught her. Cuentos folkloricos, Cora retold in the shade of a tamarind tree in Puerto Rico. Folk stories. Now a new island stretches before her, ripe for planting seeds of the cuentos she carries, the stories that she carries. It's new York. Manhattan, a city of hustle and bustle, bigger, louder, crowded, yet alive with hope and possibility. What began as a visit to celebrate her sister's wedding becomes the first steps in a new land. Meet una vida nueva, a new life for Pora. She works first in a garment factory, but it is cold floors, hard edges, not the soft fertile ground where seeds take root. Then a golden opportunity, una bendicion, the library needs a bilingual assistant. Pura speaks Spanish, English, and French. She's perfect for the job. You can see here the library and look there are flowers coming out so we're going to follow the flowers follow the plants that are being that are in the book because those are the stories okay. there's a library but where are her abuela's stories not one folk tear from puerto rico is on the shelf how lucky for the library, the Pura has story seeds ready to plant and grow. In the children's room, she lights the story hour candle and begins. Her eyes dance, her voice sings. Pura's words paint a picture of a little house with a round balcony where Martina, a beautiful Spanish cockroach, meets Perez, a handsome and gallant mice. Al ratoncito Perez y la cucarachita Martina, a tale from tamarind tree. These are the puppets I was telling you about. There's Perez and there's Martina. When Pura's story is done, each child makes a wish on the kindle and with a wisp of air, whoosh, la vela is blown out. Now Pura has a wish too, to plant her story seeds throughout the land. Pura learns to make puppets. She snips and sews their clothes, paints their delicate faces. Families come to hear folk tales in English y Espanol to watch Pura's puppet dance across the stage of her stories. There's Martina again and Perez. But the library needs libros for its shelves, books for its shelves. How can more children read Perez y Martina and other cuentos de Puerto Rico? 
Cora puts her story in an envelope and mails it to Frederick Warner, a publisher. She is taking it to the mailbox. Soon, Perezzi Martin, that is a book. There it is. Now a published author, puppeteer, and storyteller, Pura travels from branch to branch, classroom to classroom, to churches and community centers, planting her story seeds in the hearts and minds of children new to the island who wish to remember la lengua y los colores of home, the language and colors of home. Writing, learning, speaking, teaching, traveling, Pura does not slow down. Like, until, like the beautiful Martina, she meets her Perez. She falls in love. On a December day in New York, Pura marries musician Clarence Cameron White. When Anya away from the library, she decides one year to start a life as a wife. But a year stretches on. Together, they travel to new cities. Clarence plays his music and Pura tells her stories. They are happy years of music and writing, separations and reunions, friends, family, and stories always. Until on a June day in New York, Clarence stops playing his music and Pura's story must begin again. It is 1961, Pura returns to the library there are others now, storytellers, who make puppets dance, who read Perez y Martina, The Tiger and the Rabbit, Juan Bobo, The Three Magi, and many more of Porta's stories to the children. While she was gone, people continued to tell her stories. Someone else has her puppets. The seeds she has planted, the roots that grew shoots into the open air of possibility have become a lush landscape into which she steps as though she had never left. There she is with stories all around her. The end. So maybe with your puppets, you can think of a story that's important to you and to your family, maybe the culture that you're from, and tell it. Practice being a storyteller and planting stories like Pora Belpre, Belpre and tell us about it. Bye everyone.